Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at creating the spacey wormhole sort of things that you just saw in the short there. I've also used them in short videos like Etherreal, um, which is still under production. And yeah, let's get started straight away. So I'm going to analyze this quickly. We've got a flare, we've got all of these circles, and then we've got this sort of fractal energy. There are a lot of things you can do to make this look much better, but let's get started, shall we? So let's create a new project. And let's create a new composition. We're going to call this straight away. If I pull my settings into the picture, we're going to call this our circles. So 1280 by 720. Let's create a new solid. I'm going to make it black. And I'm just going to call this fractal. It really doesn't matter what you call it. But let's throw on fractal noise. Excellent, and we want to get this as wide as possible. So let's go into our transform, untick uniform scaling, and let's just scale the width right out. We're talking really, really, really long. So there we go. Up the contrast, up the down the brightness a bit, sorry, and change the height. All right, we can keep going with this width until eventually we've got something that looks like this. Now we're just going to go into the... Oh, we're still in transform for a second. Excellent. So keyframe the offset turbulence, move to the end of our composition. I'm just going to quickly make this 10 seconds long. So 0, 0, 10, 0, 0. And let's pull it up as much as we can. Maybe minus... 10,000 so it's a thousand a second there we go so then we get this all moving up like that excellent now we're going to throw on polar coordinates I'm going to turn rectangular to polar and twist it round like that and then what we can do is scale up the layer and boom so I've just realized that's going the wrong way around, so let's swap these keyframes around, shall we? And there we go. So now when we move along, we've got this sort of circular effect. Now you can do whatever you want with this to tune it up. I'm going to throw on some blur. Um, let's try fast blur. I'm going to put it below the polar coordinates. Something like that I guess. Excellent. So I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to actually rename this composition energy and I'm going to duplicate this, call the bottom one circles one, top one circles two and go into the evolution settings, change the seed to create a random one, get rid of this blur on it and set it to screen. So now we've got a bit more randomness, lower the contrast, lower the brightness so there's less of them. I'm also going to change the height, make it a bit bigger. And there we go, we've got more of it. What I'm also going to do to add a little bit more randomness is change the offset slightly on the last keyframe so they move at a different speed. Excellent. So now I'm going to duplicate circles two and I'm going to call this one energy one and I'm going to get rid of the polar coordinates and I'm going to reset the fractal noise. So really we're just left with this fractal noise. Up the contrast, lower the brightness and I'm also going to decrease the scale so we get that. So now that we've got this fractal noise uh, all grainy and stuff like this, we're going to throw on our polar coordinates again. Rectangle to polar, turn it to 100, and similar thing as before. Well, we've got it offsetting already, brilliant. So just change that up a bit so it goes quicker or slower, up to you. From here, you can change the look of it however you want. And now I'm going to throw on some optics compensation and tick reverse lens distortion and pull it up a bit like that. 
so it looks a bit different. I'm going to pull that under the circles too. I'm going to duplicate it. So create another random seed. Lower the brightness. I'm going to throw on some fast blur. Whoa, what's happened there? Brightness must have done something then. I have no idea what's happened. How weird. Anyway, let's just lower the brightness and blur and stuff. Just like that. Excellent. So there are a lot of things you can do to make this look better, but that's essentially the main thing of creating a wormhole. Um, I'm going to go drag this into a new composition and I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. Let's add on uh, set channels and this is going to create the chromatic abrasion that we had before. So we'll set all of the channels apart from red to off on the first one. The second one we'll set all the channels off besides green and then the last one all the channels will be set off besides blue. And if we highlight all these layers, set them to screen, and we're going to scale up the top two to 101 and 102. And we get this nice ripping of the colors in the edges. Excellent. Now, last thing we're going to do is create some sort of flare in the center. So let's create a new composition called it Flare. A new solid, make it 720 by 720. We want a perfect square and white. Double click your ellipse tool up there. If it's not an ellipse, just click and hold and drag it down. Let's pull the mask expansion right down and throw on some fast blare. And there we go. Duplicate that on the bottom one, pull the blare up a bit more, a bit less than that. Duplicate and once again, one below, pull up the blares and we get, oops a daisy, if I just create a black solid you'll be able to see, we get these nice sort of soft blares coming on. Pull that right up, duplicate, whoops. Should make sure we set them all to screen as well whilst we're at it. There we go. Double that up. Excellent. And now I'm just going to throw the flare on top of the energy and throw on some curves to change its color. I'm going to make this flare like a purpley sort of color I think. There we go, let's have this nice purple like that. Throw on uh, an adjustment layer and throw on the curves as well and you can sort of play around however you want in here to make it look however you'd like. I'm going to throw another one to throw on some contrast and change the colors a bit. And there we go. Excellent. This looks pretty naff, um, considering it's a five minute job. However, you can do whatever you want with this and tailor it to be better. If you want the, uh, the actual scene to move around, that's easy to do as well. Create a new composition, call it displacement map. Create a new solid. Let's make that solid composition size. Throw on ramp and swap the colors around, set it to a radial ramp and put the white, the start of your ramp to 640, 360 into the center and pull this down until you sort of just catch the edges a little bit. There we go. And if we go back into our Oh, where is it? Our energy 2, which is going to be renamed to main comp. Throw in your displacement map. Turn it off. New adjustment layer. 
call this displacement throw on the effect displacement map set the horizontal and vertical displacements to luminance set your displacement map layer to displacement map and wherever you move these the rest should follow tick wrap pixels around now it should look a bit better if you want to correct this a little bit throw on some transform and scale it up and you won't get much, uh, much of them warped edges so there we go that's a simple way of creating a wormhole but you've got endless opportunities to change it however you want thank you for watching if you're using this tutorial for a project of your own link it into the comment section below as well as any suggestions of tutorials or any other comments you've got thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video